स्टूडेंट सी इफ वी वॉन्ट टू गेट ऑल ऑफ द पर्सन ऑल ऑफ द पर्सन ओनली दो पर्सन नेम्स आउट ऑफ द ग्राफ विच आर एक्टर्स सो हाउ वी कैन डू दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैच आई से दैट मैच पी फोर पर्सन एंड देन टाइप शुड बी पर्सन एंड ओके सो वी हैव मल्टीपल मैथड्स लेट मी शो यू अ डायरेक्ट मैथड वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज अ वेयर क्लॉज बट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी मोर एफिशेंट वे सो वी कैन डायरेक्टली सर्च अ रिलेशनशिप इन द मैच कमांड एज वेल सो अ पर्सन नोड शुड बी कनेक्टेड Uh, with a node type movies m for movie and how it should be connected to a movie we will give information here acted in so what does this query mean that match all those persons who acted in any movie so if we click here if we write here that return p send for return all of those note all those note uh, person who have acted in the movies so by using this query only those person would appear and if we click if we write here m as well then uh, both nodes person and the movies would appear and uh, you can see that uh, if you want to know that how many actors are there so uh, you can also write like count count of p so this would tell us that how many actors are there how many persons are there who are actually actors so the people uh, who acted in any movie are obviously um, actors so this would tell us that number of actors so this information is not showing uh, this is not telling us any um, uh, this is not giving us a good semantic so we can also use as keyword for manipulating output count as like total number of actors like this now this is this is giving us uh, more semantic and comprehension we can also um, use this with p like uh, if we want to show uh, that uh, if we if, if we just want to show the person names who acted in the movie mean we just want to show the actor's name so we can just use this attribute like p dot name and we can call it like actors so you can see now we have all of uh, the persons all of the names of the persons who are just actors similarly <coughs> we can find out um, the person who are directors directed by that and we can uh, write here like directed directors so of course uh, if a person directed a movie that would that person would call director so this is uh, this is the name of uh, all of the um, persons who are director and if we want to see that how many directors are there Let's say we call it directors count. So we have forty-four directors, and uh, 
we have uh, 172 actors so let's say I want to see that uh, who um, who are the persons who, uh, who acted who are the directors that acted in their own movie uh, let's see so here we can do this in two different ways like first of all we can simply copy paste it and we can write it like acted in person so we have used the same variable names like p and m so a person p is directed in movie m and at the same time that person b acted in that movie as well and uh, show us the name of name of that uh, persons so let's see if it works or not wow it works so these are the persons um, these are name of the persons who um, are the directors as well as actors or in other words these are the directors who acted in their own movies and uh, in other words these are the actors who also directed uh, the movies in which they acted in so this fact can, uh, could come in any um, way or in any uh, semantics in, in your evaluation might be uh, so you can see that uh, different ways we are talking about only one thing so uh, you should be very clear that how it should work and uh, okay now we can also simplify this uh, query in very in a very interesting way that uh, we know that uh, this movie this movie is uh, is common in these two um, uh, relationships this is just a relation and this whole is a relationship relationship must contain two at least two nodes to become a relationship okay so uh, what we can do we can just connect this in this fashion and we can write here like acted in so what does this mean that this person acted in this movie whereas the same person directed in that movie so we can also improve our query in this way and it should this should work in the same way yes uh, this query um, shown us the same results okay now your task is to find out the most experienced actor one task the other similarly you have to find out the most experienced director how we can find out let me give you some hints or guidance um, you can see here that this person this person Tom Hanks acted in this movie this person acted in this movie this person acted. so this person have acted in more than one movies and this person um, like uh, let's say there could be a person look at here there, there's a person uh, that is Robert this has directed this movie and this has directed this movie so let's say if we talk about uh, just actors so, uh, so there are multiple actors who have worked in many movies so first of all you can simply find out uh, the actors you can simply find out the count of movies against each actor and then by sorting that result on the base of count you can select the maximum value and then 
you can display the actor or director name so um, I have already written some queries before this lecture practiced um, I extracted some facts out of this travel database and written some queries um, I have intentionally deleted uh, this query for most experienced actor uh, or most experienced director you will do you will do this but I am going to show you the similar work in all of these queries which are written underneath so <coughs> uh, first these three queries are uh, almost the same mm, as I told you that uh, a person who acted a director who acted in its movie a direct uh, an actor who um, also directed its movie and uh, the persons who are director and actor as well so in that kind of manner these are the almost the same movies uh, with a little 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 bit uh, variance like uh, uh, this is the same query but it is also giving by by just slight modification it is also giving us a uh, different information what is that the movies the movies names whose director also acted in them so the, so the th same thing can also be seen in this uh, in the, from this angle as well that we want that that movies names whose directors also acted in them so the query is again same but here uh, we are actually showing that movie now uh, movie don't have the name attribute we movie have the title attribute you can see from the graph as well so we have the title attribute So these are the name of movies whose directors also acted in them. Similarly, a person who are directors and actors as well along with their number of movies. So if we want to show that um, um, okay, actors and directors, oh, the directors who are actors as well and uh, the number of movies that how many in how many movies those persons uh, appear as actor and director I mean how many movies they have directed in which they appeared as an actor so the same thing I told I told you in uh, three different ways so the same query could be used for to extract this fact So here I have used uh, variables R and uh, for acted in and R1 for directed in so uh, which would show that how many movies they have appeared they have acted in and directed in so we have just three actors and they have uh, at least one movie in which they have acted in or directed in. Similarly, uh, the movie title that has a maximum number of actors acted in them. So let's uh, run this query first of all as it is, then I will explain you step by step what this query does. So this movie, this, this query actually tells us a mo name of movie that has the maximum number of actors acted in it so let me explain you step by step that how it is working we have used some more uh, keywords in it so first of all uh, this line is the same that uh, we extracted all those persons who are actor basically who have acted in a movie so then uh, we are extracting m dot titles mean the movie names and the count of n means count of that person let me let me represent this uh, person node uh, with p so, so count of that persons and here here i can use this as keyword by uh, for manipulating uh, results as i shown you earlier uh, I represented this count as C. Now, 
let's see what happened if we just uh, run this query so this query show us the name of movie and the count of persons that acted in that movie means uh, the name of movie and the number of actors so we can also utilize we can also use some meaningful name like this number of actors in it and m dot title as movie so now these results would be more comprehensible so the movies and number of factors in it okay now you can see that we have 5 4 3 12 so uh, we can sort these results uh, to bring the, that 12 on the top of the results so how we can sort that we can simply use order by clause order by order by number of factors order by number of a c t o r factors order by number of factors by default order by you would uh, sort in ascending order and if we want to uh, make it in descending order we will use d e s c keyword so you can see that results are sorted from the higher value to lower value so uh, our desired results is on the top of the list now we can just use the limit keyword limit one to extract the topmost result out of it so finally we have a name of movie that have the maximum number of factors appeared in it